Tengku goes along with a lot of compromises and that's why he was successful in many, many things. But he was not successful in the formation of Malaysia, for instance. I was told that uh, the man who really wanted Malaysia to come into being, apart from the British, was uh, Lee Kuan Yew himself. He was the man who lobbied and uh, argued and uh, persuaded the Sabah and the Sarawak leaders to agree to the concept of Malaysia and eventually to the formation of Malaysia. I think the merger was a very good proposal in the light of the conflict that we were facing at that time. It was at, towards the end of the Cold War. Of course, we here uh, profess to go neutral because uh, we, do, we don't believe in siding anybody. But still, we were caught in the middle. Malaysia could not have been formed in spite of the hard effort put in by Lee Kuan Yew, if not for the fact that Tengku gave his personal assurances to people like Tun Mustafa, Donald Stevens, and to Abang Openg. He will definitely take care of the people of Sabah and Sarawak, not to worry, for as long as he is the leader of this new, uh, newly formed federation. And I think people uh, really believed him. Why he decided to get rid of Singapore from the Federation of Malaysia because he is very much concerned about the welfare of the people here. He was afraid that a repeat of the riot in Singapore would happen here and it would harm not only the relationship of the people of Singapore with uh, Malaya, but also would cause a lot of misery and unhappiness to the people here. And he was so concerned about that. So it's better to cut off one part of the country in order to ensure that uh, there's peace and, uh, and, and, and security in, in Malaya, for which he is responsible. <laughs> <laughs>